Ross Oaks and Dean Fuggy Johnston, the halves are Jordan Lilly and Rowan Mills, the forwards Liam Kirk, Matty Wildy, Steve Crossley, Elliot Minchenna, Cora Farrell and Sam Hallis and on the interchange bench for John Keir's side it's Ross Peltier, Mikey Wood, George Flanagan and Matt Staunton for Halifax as Bradford take the t- first tackle of the afternoon with Steve Crossley 15 out from his old try line it's Quinton Lall out to Toga Gay at fullback, wing free quarter line of James Salterstall, Steve Tyra, Chester Butler who will join Huddersfield next year and Will Sharp, the halves a lot of experience from Scott Morell and Scott Griggs the forwards Ben Kavanagh, Brandon Moore Adam Tangata, Liam Cooper, Ed Barber and at loose forward, former Bulls Loney, Jacob Fairbank and on the bench James Woodburn Hall and Elliot Morris and former Bradford players, Kevin Leroyer and Dan Fleming, the referee comes from Wigan it is Scott Mikalauskas and Bradford already, on the last tackle, just shy of halfway, out of dummy half, towards Lilly, Lilly straight down the front there of Will Sharp and Will Sharp. Halifax have taken the handbrake off a little bit and look for that second phase ball up the middle they got a good second phase pass away earlier in the set and that one just broke up the middle very dubious pass it must be said just after the halfway was called forward by a lot of players here as Steve Fogger Johnson finds space down the left hand side he's got support on the inside Melt is in Melt is going to go in at the corner it's a valiant chase by Manchester Butler but Dave Fogger Johnston for try assist to Rowan Melt and the 19 year Junior Academy player in his 12th game. Holding down Halifax a little bit longer in the play of the ball and getting a little bit better off in the ruck here. There's a very late challenge comes through on Jordan Lilly and it's blown up, Mick. It was too late in an attack of the legs. Kendall there. has a look at this and it slowed down. It is a late hit and Liam Cooper could find himself in a little bit of hot water here with referee Scott Mikulauskas. Just bordering it high as well. Mickey led with his new balls. The cauldron, the raw. Hallas out of dummy half to Lily. Flick up pass to Farrell. Farrell's over. But it's a forward pass. Underneath the pause. Five metres out. Flanagan to page one. Flanagan's over the Halifax line. Held up. We're going back to the 10. And it still remains Bradford 4. Halifax nil. Five minutes to go to half time here at Odsall Stadium. This is gripping entertainment. What a sporting spectacular this one is. Peltier is caught. That's well, my I'll, interpretation. If that's what's happened. I wouldn't like to be George Flanagan there at half time. Pulse 2 kick predictor 100%. Jordan Lilly 10 metres out in front. Lilly gets the balls. An extra two points on the scoreboard and here at Oxford Stadium the stands and terraces absolutely packed full it's Bradford Bulls 6 Halifax 0 it goes to Sharp Sharp's brought down on the last it was a try saving tackle from Ethan Ryan quick play the ball from Halifax Morell on the last looking to put Webster under pressure and Halifax have scored Halifax have a try here it is, it is a try and Chris Kendall's decision here this could be a pivotal moment it is a penalty try it's a penalty try underneath the posts and it Tyra the pulse 2 kick predictor 87% 10 metres to left hand side of the post between the posts we're it's locked up the pulse 2 kick predictor at 100 percent he can't get any more percentage on this this to give Halifax one foot in the Challenge Cup semi-finals at Bolton Tyra fourth tackle gone granting at dummy half to Lily Lily probing looking for that second phase attack the finding now is Staunton Staunton to Ryan and wide to defogging Johnston Johnston's away Johnston's brought down 25 metres out on the last tackle Will they Crossfield came Lily's chasing it, Lily's chasing it, they're going to win, they're going to get the turn, it's Webster, Webster's pace game, and Webster's gone over for the Bulls, the Bulls reach, and Lily, here comes the decision, oh, it's a try, 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 it's game on again here, Lily lining up the kick, what does the predictor tell us Mick? 82% Lily to add an extra two points he's too fast they've got to do because the Bulls currently from what we're seeing they've got the ascendancy and momentum in Halifax they're not winning that forward battle they're not getting past Minchella across the start and Kirk Wood Halifax just inside the Bradford half Moore to Morell Morell Woodburn Hall Woodburn Hall QLT they're going underneath the stairs 
and Scott Griggs has given Halifax the lead. It's 12 points apiece. The kick to come from in front. But, uh, you know, the pendulum swings yet again in this match, Mick. It's been one of those games. Uh, neither side can shake the other side off. The quality from both sides has been very good the last half an hour. Um, detail now. No errors, no penalties. And the side that comes up with the least errors and penalties are going to be the side to win this match. <laughs> And now Halifax are on the fourth tackle. One remaining here, five metres inside deep. Bradford half, Morell along the line to Griggs, to Cooper. Cooper, Woodburn Hall! Woodburn Hall! He's thrown an almighty dummy past Ethan Ryan and Halifax are underneath. Well, we've got there five and a half minutes left on the clock, Mick. Well, what about this Challenge Cup and the grandstand finishes that it can provide? Tyra from in front. On the pulse to scoreboard here at Oxford Stadium, Mick.